I'm going to show you how to install gun parry. I forgot to add that in the guide to install Graceborn with the new update. So I do have a, another video, but it's pretty outdated. So this is going to be fresh new. So nobody gets confused. Um, also, just a heads up, if you go to Nexus mod, Elder Ring, Graceborn, if you go to post here, using my stuff or basic guides and help will be here. Just in case you ever get lost. And like I said, this is the old video. I will be replacing it here. Um, but anyway, they do say to do it somewhere here. But it might not be explained well enough for some people. I'm going to show you how we do it. Okay. So you're going to go inside your Graceborn folder. Um, what you're going to be looking for is the game files right here. So the Graceborn folder where you all the nonsense of Graceborn is in here. But you're gonna be uh you're gonna be focusing on the cross bell. But if you installed correctly, you should have all of this inside your game files. So the first thing you want to do in here, the reason why I want you to open Graceborn folder is to have your config Elder Ring open. Which would be right here. I believe that right there. And um you're gonna go inside your game. Again, if you don't know how to, how to find your game, you open Steam, go to Elder Ring, right click Manage, Browse Local Files, click on Game Folder, and it should pop up. Like I said, if you install correctly, your crossbow should be right on top, or if it's on the bottom for some reason, exactly where your Elder Ring is installed. So we're going to click inside Crossbow, and we're going to click inside the DLL Mods. And what we're going to do is copy the path of what I like to call the URL. So it's up here where, all, where my mouse is. You're going to right click the empty, like the little empty space. Copy address as text. Okay. Then you go to your config. So I already did it, but for example, you probably would not have... Well, I would just delete it for this purposes. You will have this, your first path to install Graceborn, right? What we're going to do, you're going to go to the end just before the parentheses, not after, before, and right after the quotation mark, you're going to add a comma, space, and then paste what you just copied. Okay. The next step is you see how it ends in DLL mods. What you want to do is just go on top where your script data exposure is, but just also copy the, the slashes. So it's a lot less work for you. And you want to copy it all the way until you see the quotation mark. So double slash scripts data exposure FS DLL quotation mark. You want to click copy and you're going to go back to where it says DLL mods. And you're just going to paste that there. Hopefully that makes sense. The next step is you're going to do the same thing as you did before. Make sure you have um, the two slashes everywhere. We're going to do that here. Here and here and here. Here and here and there. So now everything and here has two slashes. Another thing is make sure, since you put the comma, make sure before your uh, letter of your drive, you have a quotation mark before it. So just make sure this is here. One little mistake like this can make your game launch as vanilla or not work at all. So you wanna make sure that's there. Your config kind of pretty much put everything together. So you're gonna make sure that has the end quotation mark and this has the end of quotation mark it's pretty much it then we'll just save and that's how you get the gun parry to work in the game it just wasn't mentioned anywhere else besides here so i forgot to put it in the guide but there you go